What's going on? Today I'm talking DJI FPV and this stuff, pretty awesome. Um, love it. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check some of this uh, DJI FPV stuff out, now is the time. Um, you know, I put this drone together and I'll tell you a little bit about it, but the experience flying one of these versus a standard analog, it's it's really kind of amazing. And everybody that I've had the experience of sharing this with has been amazed. Um, so let's take a look at what this drone is and I'll show you a little bit of footage. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about what it means to, to switch to this digital system. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with some video being recorded on board the air unit itself. Uh, you can put an SD card in the air unit and in the goggles and record both at the same time. And I'm doing that here um, so you can kind of see what it looks like in its best form. Now, this is straight up stock uh, settings. I have not changed or tweaked anything here so you can see what that looks like. Now, this is crisper and cleaner than the image that you'll see from the goggles. And uh, we'll switch over to that in a second so you can see the difference. Uh, but either way, it's still pretty darn crisp, pretty darn clear. Now, I absolutely love flying FPV and typically I like to stick with smaller quads but you know this air unit its size kind of limits it to bigger drones. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the goggle view. This is the goggle view. This is what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is what you're seeing. Now I do have on my goggle screen some on display information so I can tell you know my battery voltage and things like that that are super important. Um, I can also tell my RSSI feed you know how strong of a signal do I have um, and you can kind of see those blocky artifacts along the side. Uh, I have this in focus mode so the center you can see stays a little bit crisper and cleaner um, and that is to kind of avoid latency. Now I can make it kind of focus uh, and keep the, cri the picture crisper and cleaner uh, but when you do that uh, you kind of lose a little bit of latency and I'd rather have the absolute best. Now people ask well, what about the latency? How is it? Well as you can tell from this video it's non-existent. Um, I don't notice latency when I'm flying this system um, it is as good, if not better, than really anything I've ever flown before. Just the crisp and crispness of the video and the clarity while you're flying. Again, still looking at the goggle view here. Really good, even though, um, you know, I'm getting range on this that you just can't, <laughs> you just can't get. Now I'm switching back here to the... Uh, to the recorded feed on the air unit so it's just a little bit crisper and cleaner uh, you may not even have noticed uh, a difference here but uh, yeah it's just so good I you know flying this is fantastic you get great range you get great clarity you get good picture it just is superior in so many ways uh, to the uh, analog system. Now, it's pricey, right? DJI stuff is expensive. And, you know, if you want to get the uh, air unit fly more package, that's the goggles with the remote and an air unit, that's going to cost you $929. Um, you could just opt for uh, the goggle and two air units. Uh, they got a deal going for $819. It's, you know, if you want to use your own remote control, you can do that. You know, the goggles themselves are $529. The remote itself is $299. If you want extra air units, they're $179 a piece. If you break a camera, it's $60. Uh, the module without the camera is $99. Um, you know, then of course you have to you know, have the frame and things to put it together. Uh, the frame that I'm using is the iFly DC5. That was $49.99. Um, you have to put a, a flight control and ESC on there. I bought a stack that's compatible, the Holybro Kakut F7. That was $92. Bucks. Um, and then I use really good motors, the Good Venture drone motors, uh, the Stealth Pros at uh, 20 bucks a piece. So that's, you know, $1,150 for that whole combo. All right, so let's do a deeper dive into these components. Okay, so let's take a look at the system that we have here. First of all, um, DJI isn't selling drones, so you're gonna have to put these things together, uh, unfortunately. Now you can find some out there pre-built. Uh, they're expensive, and you know that's kind of the theme here with this DJI system is it is expensive. So what I got is the goggles, the remote, and an air unit. They call that the Flymore package and that costs $929. Yeah, 
heavy chunk of change right off the start and then you still have to build your drone so this is the air unit here um i went with an iflight uh, dc5 frame so this guy was actually built uh, for the dji unit and actually initially i bought a tbs source one because you know, it was a big frame and I thought I could fit it in there. It was only $25. This one uh, is 50, but it was built for the DJI unit. And it turns out uh, that's almost pretty necessary because this unit is big um, and they give you some uh, 3D printed parts to kind of hold it in place there. So that was definitely useful. So I did end up switching to this frame. It is a really nice frame. Um, you can see here, good carbon fiber. Uh, I like the look of it, good solid feel. Uh, modular arms yeah just a you know a solid frame so uh, it is one that I really like it's kind of long um, it is big right it has to be big to kind of accommodate for this air unit in the back in addition to that you know you do have to obviously buy motors I've got my uh, good venture drone motors here these are probably the nicest motors I've ever used they are super smooth, super powerful. These are their Stealth Pro 2306 and a half. Um, love these things. 25, 54 KVs. They'll fly these things uh, on 4 or 6S. That's, you know, your preference. Uh, I'm flying 4, 4S, right? Uh, there are some things you have to do in order to fly 6S. Now, you also need to add a flight controller. I've got the Holy Bro. Um, this is a Holy Bro Kahoot uh, F7 stack, and it's 92 bucks, I think, is what it ended up costing me. Uh, but this is actually built for a DJI unit, all right? You can see here, kind of hard to see, uh, but in here, this plugs right in. So it plugs from the back of the unit right into the flight controller here. Um, and I don't have to do any other, any other soldering other than my motors, which I had to obviously solder on here so building a dji quad is a process now it's actually a little bit easier than building most drones if you've never built a drone um you know i i just released a video on how to do this this is the tyro 119 it's a gps drone for 120 bucks you know this is probably the easiest thing to build and actually this and the dji if you buy one uh built for dji they're the easiest two quads to build because they're almost plug and play. You do have to solder uh, the motors on actually both of these, uh, but you know that's probably the easiest way to go. There are some, like I said, pre-made. If you want to just buy and fly, you can. But again, they're going to be expensive, so you have to keep that in mind. But you know these goggles. The picture coming out of these is so different than anything I've ever experienced. Um, you know, I'm going to show you some flight of me flying. I'm going to show you some flight of Orion flying with these. Uh, but we both kind of had the same experience. It was, wow, that is unbelievable coming from, uh, you know, analog FPV. I did drop it here, crack the uh, casing on the antenna. So, uh, you know what, I thought, hey, uh, I can see what's in there. Um, you know, that's what the inside of the antenna looks like. Probably a circular polarized in there but yeah these goggles um they're nice they look super cool um but honestly they just don't fit nearly as nicely or snugly as uh you know my sky zones or my fat sharks uh, they're kind of bulky um you know i think dj probably could have done a better job of uh you know these goggles but uh hey they are okay right but uh you know, for 500 bucks or what are they by themselves? I think they're 530, $530. Yeah. Um, you know, they, I think they should be a little bit better fitting, but, uh, you know, I don't know what is all going on in here, but whatever it is, it's pretty darn fantastic. Now this remote uh, actually looks and feels a lot like a phantom remote. I should have probably pulled that one out uh, to compare, but you know, it has a standard DJI on off button. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, extra switches here and there, um, and you can record uh, the you know the image from the goggles or on the air unit right here from the remote. So these are nice gimbals, good sticks. Uh, I do like the way it feels, and the range on this is just phenomenal. Um, it's gosh, this it really is a game changing deal. Once you've flown with this, it's going to be hard to kind of go back and fly an analog drone. It just it's so nice and 
you know, the uh, you don't have to buy this, right? You don't have to buy the remote. You could add your own receiver, but the air unit not only is a camera and a VTX, it's also a receiver if you have this DJI remote. So it is nice and it is pretty darn powerful and long range. I was getting range out of this thing that I absolutely do not on my XM Plus. I was getting a uh, video quality range on this that I, I've never experienced before. Um, just the breakups are different, right? The flying with these goggles um, is is just so different. It's it's kind of hard to, you know, if you haven't experienced it, you need to try because if you like FPV, this is a whole new world and uh, it's a good one. Uh, so yeah, you know, not cheap, but uh, definitely, definitely good. So uh, I'm anxious to see what else comes out. Are we going to get some three inch uh, quads um, from DJI? Are we going to get another five inch quad from DJI? I'd like to see DJI release their own drone. Uh, you know, maybe it's coming. I think they probably should just because, you know, building is not easy and it's not for everyone. And these goggles just make it so nice and, and accessible and easy to see. Just this setup can be so good. It's going to be really good for the hobby, I think. Um, gosh, what else? You know, changing channels here. You, you change in the goggles. It changes on the drone. You see the number on the side. There are just so many really nice things about this system, aside from its initial cost, which is pretty darn expensive. But yeah, it's a good uh, it's a good setup. Let's take a look at some flight, and uh, you know you can kind of decide for yourself if you're ready to to uh, pony up the dough.